हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू ऑन माय चैनल इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स डीजे गणित इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट सीक्वेंस एंड सीरीज ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर्स यू आर ऑलरेडी फैमिलियर विथ सीक्वेंस एंड सीरीज ऑफ रियल नंबर्स वी आर गोइंग टू जनरलाइज दैट कॉन्सेप्ट फ्रॉम रियल सीक्वेंस टू कॉम्प्लेक्स सीक्वेंस द मेजोरिटी ऑफ थियरी इज सेम एज वी हैव in real analysis so we will generalize uh, first definition of sequence from uh, real sequence to complex sequence so if you can recall a real sequence is a function from set of natural numbers to set of real numbers so any function whose domain is the set of natural numbers is known as sequence and if uh, codomain is set of real numbers this type of sequence is called real sequence or sequence of real numbers now if we replace this set by set of complex numbers then this type of sequence is called sequence of complex numbers or complex sequence so complex sequence is obtained by assigning a complex number zn to each positive integer n so uh, we have written here a complex sequence is obtained by assigning to each positive integer n a number zn which is a complex number and it is known as term of the sequence and this is the notation for sequence same notation which we are using for real sequences instead of real numbers here terms of the sequence are complex numbers which are denoted by z1 z2 and so on this zn is known as nth term of the sequence so these two are different notations for complex sequence in general they are the notations for sequence either real or complex sequence and as we discuss a real sequence is that sequence whose terms are real so real sequence is a function from set of natural numbers to set of real numbers and a complex sequence is a function from set of natural numbers to set of complex numbers now we talk about convergence of the sequence so we are not going for formal definition which is given in pure mathematics we just understand the meaning of convergent sequence a convergent sequence is that sequence whose limit exists and we write limit in this way limit of zn as n tends to infinity equal to c or zn approaches c as n tends to infinity so if the limit of sequence exist then we say that sequence is convergent otherwise we say that sequence is divergent so these are the two examples for convergence of a sequence if we consider this sequence i to the power n divided by n so for n equal to 1 we obtain i divided by 1 so first term of the sequence is i for n equal to 2 we have i square by n and i square is minus 1 so this is the second term of the sequence for n equal to 3 we have i cube over n i cube can be written as i into i square by n and because i square is minus 1 third term of the sequence here n is 3 is minus i by 3 so in this way we can write down the terms of the sequence corresponding to different values of n and if we find out limit of this i raised to n by n as n approaches infinity we will obtain zero so this sequence is convergent with limit zero and if we consider this sequence i to the power n then this is the example of divergent sequence but we are not going into the details of sequence our main focus is on series of complex numbers so now we introduced what is meaning of series of complex numbers 
before that we can uh, we can state this result which says that limit of xn plus i by n zn is a complex sequence whose real part is xn and imaginary part is yn so here xn and yn are real sequences or sequences of real numbers and suppose z equal to x plus i y so this result says that if we want to find out limit of zn as n tends to infinity then this limit is equal to z equal to x plus i y if and only if limit of x n is x and limit of y n is y the simple meaning is if we want to find out limit of complex sequence z n that is x n plus i y n then we can find out this limit in this way limit of x n plus i into limit of y n provided these two sequences are convergent that is provided limit of x n and limit of y n exist so using this we can find out limit of this sequence suppose z n is given by 1 minus 1 by n square plus i times 2 plus 4 by n so here real part of z n is 1 minus 1 by n square imaginary part is 2 plus 4 by n so limit of z n equal to limit of real part plus i times limit of imaginary part here limit of 1 minus 1 by n square is 1 minus 1 upon infinity which is 0 and here 2 plus 4 by infinity so we have 1 plus 2 i now we define series of complex numbers so again definition is same for series of real numbers suppose we have a complex sequence zn that means zn is a function from set of natural numbers to set of all complex numbers so if zn is a sequence of complex numbers then the sum of all the terms of this sequence is called series of complex numbers so series of complex numbers is nothing but the sum of all the terms of the sequence zn and notation is same as we have for real sequences it is denoted by sigma zn n from 1 to infinity or simply by sigma zn this zn is called the nth term of the series now we discuss how to decide the convergence of the series so again definition is same for convergence as in the case of real series or series of real numbers so we consider this series sigma zn now we construct this sequence of partial sums for this series as follows we are constructing a sequence known as sequence of partial sums of given series so first term of that sequence is defined as s1 equal to z1 s1 is the first term of the sequence of partial sums second term is s2 equal to sum of first two terms of the given series here first two terms are z1 and z2 so s2 is z1 plus z2 s3 is nothing but sum of first three terms of the given series this is finite sum we have to go up to first three terms so s1 is sum of first term of the given series s2 means sum of first two terms of the given series s3 means sum of first three terms of the given series so in general Sn is nothing but sum of first n terms of the given series. So for different values of n, we will obtain different terms of the sequence of partial sums. And this Sn is called the nth partial sum of the given series. Similarly, S1 is called first partial sum, S2 is called second partial sum of the given series and so on. So in general, Sn is called the nth partial sum of the series and 
द सिक्वेंस हुज टर्म्स आर गिवन बाय दिस एस वन एस टू एंड सो वन दैट सिक्वेंस इज नोन एज सिक्वेंस ऑफ पार्शियल सम्स ऑफ द गिवन सीरीज सो हियर वी हैव रिटर्न द सिक्वेंस एस एन इज कॉल द सिक्वेंस ऑफ पार्शियल सम्स ऑफ सीरीज सिग्मा जेड एन सो कन्वर्जेंस ऑफ सिग्मा जेड एन इज डिफाइंड यूजिंग कन्वर्जेंस ऑफ दिस सिक्वेंस If the sequence of partial sums, this sequence, if sequence S n is convergent, series sigma z n is convergent, and if sequence of partial sums is not convergent, this series is not convergent. So definition of convergent series is the series sigma z n is convergent if the sequence of its partial sums S n is convergent, and if series is convergent then the sum of the series is given by limit of nth partial sum and this is easy to understand this we can write as limit n tending to infinity z1 plus z2 sn is nothing but nth partial sum so if we take n tending to infinity we will obtain this series so the convergence of series depends on the limit or convergence of the sequence of partial sums if sequence of partial sums is convergent its limit will give us the sum of the given series so in this way uh, we can define the convergence of the series in the next lecture we will discuss some different tests to decide the convergence of the complex series so i hope you like this lecture thank you very much